Oh shit. Fuck. God damn it. This is the dumbest fucking thing I have ever done. Well, the first thing I gotta do is get the fuel <coughs> out of the fuel tank. So I bought this cheap piece of shit. siphon at Home Depot for like 10 bucks. I think this end goes in here. So I suppose the important part of using a siphon is to know which direction you siphon in. Well, it looks like fuel is leaking out of this thing, so uh, some wetness there. Christ, fucking shit. Get it nice and deep in there. Is there anything coming out of this? Air. All right, and we siphon, 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 siphon. All right, I think something's happening here, so. So a little background, this is my first DIY repair video. I bought this Ducati. 900 SS 1994 mid to late last summer admittedly it is a bit 90s in some places the square headlight in the front the bulbous seat and back but you know if you take a step back and you look at this thing kind of looks and reminds me of the uh, Akira it's got that kind of I mean it was around the same time that this came out you know I gotta wonder how much of their design cues were taken from Ducati at the time. Now all sport bikes look the same. Ugh, what the fuck is going on here? Jesus, piece of shit, fucking. Oh God, I don't love that shit. Uh, let's keep siphoning here. God damn it. I have to imagine I could just drain the tank somehow. Wow. Okay, that is full. Supposedly just pour the fucking thing right in the Volvo. Please nothing spark and kill me. Oh shit, fuck. This is so irritating. The Haynes manual I have actually says, you go to the fuel, <coughs> you go to the fuel tank repair section and other than just removing the tank, any repair or maintenance, they don't even put a section in there. They just say it's too dangerous. If someone who knows what they're doing, do it. Well, that's why I bought your fucking manual, so I could learn how to do it. God, it's irritating. Give us a little credit. Ugh. Ugh. God, gross. I don't know. Seems like we're pretty low here. Let's get the rest of this in the Volvo. So, the next step is to pass out from all of the gasoline fumes. Yeah, it stinks. Fuck! Ow! Yeah. This thing is frozen. I actually met a, another Ducati 900SS owner, and he had a couple items for sale in addition one of which was this special nut that was apparently created special by one of the mechanics at the Ducati dealership here in Minneapolis because he saw so many of them fail. He had a part machined and here it is, perfect to replace and be more durable and solve that issue. Probably a worthwhile investment. All right, I'm gonna remove this strap. Probably should get rid of this thing. Something to prop this up. Use lab. For fuck's sake. There we go. Alright, so this. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> fuck! It's already fucking aluminum. God damn it. What a waste. Dr 
drainage backflow. Okay, so that's backflow. I suppose, okay, this is the drain here. That's the thing I can use to get the last little bit of fuel out. That would involve me disconnecting all this shit. <sighs> tank displacement would draw pipe with this bleed valve from the tank. Release the front anchor lever. I've done all that. Lift the tank using the service rod. Oh, damn it, I didn't use the service rod. <sighs> Close the manual cock, number three. Close it. Close it. Righty tighty. Closing the manual cock. Cock is closed. Story of my life. Okay. And loosen the clamps on the feeding pipe M and on the feedback pipe R. So the two pipes loosening the clamps. Let's do this. Lefty, loosey. Clamps are loose. I assume that's going to let me take this shit out. So all three of these pipes and then disconnect the fuel reserve signal. Feeler? What the fuck is that? This thing. Oh my god. How loose do you need to be? Oh god. We need tools for this. Hopefully I don't do any damage here. I can get this fucking thing off. Alright. Come on, man. Oh sh god damn, those are in fucking tight. Ooh. Okay, it's out. Come on, buddy. Oh my god. That is fucking on there. Withdraw from the corresponding unions. Why the fuck wouldn't I undo this nut to get this fucking thing off here? Oh, that seems harder. Oh, god damn it. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. That's probably important. Okay, shit. No towels. God damn it. God damn it. Fuck. Ugh. All right, one more of these. Ugh. Fuck, come on. What the fuck? Ugh. Yes, out of there. Ah, fucking thing. Okay, okay. Ser seriously? This could have gone much worse. All right, speaking of much worse, let's just go all in and get the rest of the fuel out of that tank. Mmm, gasoline. Oh. Ugh. Okay. Fuck! How do I get this thing out? Ah, damn it. Okay. Alright. What I'm gonna do... Tape the fucking thing on there. On... The fucking... Thing. Okay, here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? Okay. Okay. Let's drain the rest of this fuel as best we can. Oh shit. Fuck. God damn it. Fuck. Why are you going so fast? God damn it. Slow the fuck down. This is the dumbest fucking thing I have ever done. Please stop. Please, Jesus Christ. Okay, 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 okay. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, that's probably why. Okay, you guys. You get the fuck out of there. Much better. No wonder it wouldn't fucking flow. All right, so tip number one. When you pull the nut out, don't do it with the tank facing down. Rule number two, don't. Let the nut fall into your funnel so that your gas overflows and goes all over the floor. Ah, oh, man. Oh, shit. Yeah. God damn it. Fuck this. Fuck! This is what happens when you grow up working with computers and not cars. God, it stinks in here. My wife is gonna kill me.
Okay, it's getting to the end here. There you go. Shake out the last few drops. Okay, enough of that shit. 